This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by PC Hookup with Christian Lander, presented by Windows, the new thicker chocolatier Klondike, GoDaddy, and Morpheus Sporin. When Neosporin is a little too strong. You're the one, Sporin. <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know this is Southern. It's Southern California, and I have fruit. <laughs> you put zombie and you put ear in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hey, everybody out there. Welcome to Dignation episode number 211. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Dignation covers some of the hottest user submitted stories on the social news website, dig.com. That's D I W G dot com. That's right. We're here in San Francisco drinking a little honey wheat. What? 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 Mm. You know what they did? Mm mm. I they do not know they what haven't they did. sponsored us in like five episodes. I know, but episodes. we have so they gave much us of their so beer. Much beer. They just knew that we were too lazy to go out and buy more beer. It's and like they free knew sponsorship. We'd just drink it. Free sponsorship. Dude, that's effed up a little bit. You know what we should do? We'll uh, get some Coors Light out of the fridge. Yeah. Well, or same brown paper bag it. Well, we got brown. Coors Light in the fridge too. They gave us beer too. Dude, brown paper bag it and be like non denominational uh, <laughs> beer. And then we go out Tastes and a lot really. like honey white. Yeah, it does. Yeah, we could be like, this is milk. No, I mean, straight if you just put that wrapper on it. <laughs> That's what we were talking about. <laughs> sort of. But doing yeah, the show. But you could be outside instead of in the comfort of your own home. That's true. Which is less comfortable. So we should do that. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of less comfortable, let's talk about doing a live show in Vegas. That what is awesome. A- whip, whip, Our whee. first live show ever in Las Vegas. We with have special done guests. a show with special guests. We've done a show from Vegas, but people were not uh, invited. We just sort of did it out in front of like Caesar's Palace or something. Well, we are going to be at the Palms August fifth. Uh, I think the time is five thirty. We're going to start at five thirty because we know you got to do a live show, get crazy, rip shit, and then. Go gambling in Vegas, so we want to give you some time to have an evening. Uh, d- did Glenn get the strippers? I don't think Glenn got the strippers yet. He didn't yet? I'm going to email him right, right now. We'll give him that. So we have a special guest coming to the show, which Lots should be of a lot of fun. Guests. It should be fun. It's going to be awesome, dude. The Palms, yeah. Vegas. I it's, mean, it's Dignation, a, Vegas. I think you hit the nail on the head, though. When? Some people, they see the nail, they aim for it, they kind of hit it and it goes bends. I hate when that shit happens. Why are you hammering? You hit the nail on the head when you said, come out to Vegas, Yes. get there, see our show, and then go gamble and have some drinks. Boo, yeah! It's, like, it's not like you would be coming out to Vegas and then see the show and be like, oh, I didn't, get any t- I didn't have any time to go. Oh, I gotta go to bed. It's Vegas. Because how crappy would that be? I, you know, I didn't have enough time to go to the strip club. I didn't. That would not be a good experience Bad for you. Bad pandas. So we might, should we go to the strip club with the fans? Oh shit, let's take over a strip club. Dude. After the live show. I'm sure we hey, could get somebody. Hey, what's that place, uh, Glenn? No, Nipple, no, Nipple Towns? No, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I never, I have no idea, I never. The Silk Pony. No, oh, you haven't been to Vegas? Wait Shut a minute. The fuck I up. haven't even heard the no, no, stories no, 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 of this crazy no, man no, no, in no. Vegas. Mm-hmm. What was it, the, the, the Silk Pony, the uh. The, the hippie stroker. Yeah, you know what, you know what I'm talking about. The old squash? No, not the old squash, <laughs> yeah. not your vegan restaurant. <laughs> That's where he wanted to go for dinner. Not uh, in Vegas. Come Vegans on, come on, come don't on. go to Vegas. Glenn, you know what I'm talking about. The yellow, the pony. No, come on. It was the place. Yeah. Glenn, you're so cute. <laughs> this sounds <laughs> awesome, dude. I don't know your name. Uh, not the girl's name? names, dude. <laughs> Well, either way, we are going to have a great time in Vegas. We'll I'm, make an announcement so on stage of where we're going after yeah, that. Yeah, so excited. So get your butt out to Vegas. Actually, I don't know if that's a good idea because everyone will be we'll bringing cameras. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. There'll be a lot of what we call accidental blowjobs. Here we go. <laughs> uh, so let's get into the show, shall we? First story of the day, Murphy Goody says number one spot isn't good enough to make the top 50. 2,098 people dug this story submitted by Nix33. Murphy Goody, who's a wine manufacturer. Good, right? What? Isn't it good? Murphy Good. It has an E on the end. Yeah, but. It's silent E. Silent. I don't care. This okay. is how we pronounce it. Fair enough. We'll just Murphy speak. Goody, isn't that the ice cream company? Whatever. Goody Yum Yum. Goody Goody Yum Yum. <laughs> don't spit. 
<laughs> Swallow, take that nectar. <laughs> okay, it's honeyweed. There's nectar in there. Um, Murphy, no, it's non-denominational beer. Well, Murphy Goody is freaking on our shit list because here's what happened, man. Our friend yeah, so Martin Sargent. I knew, I knew what was happening as it happened, but then this blew up, and I was like, I don't understand what happened. happened our old yeah. Tech TV chum, Martin Sargent, created an amazing video for Murphy Goody. So what were they doing? What was Murphy doing? Okay, Why so would he do that? here's what happened. Let me, okay. let me, let me uh, Let's start Murphy this party. Good. Good. Murphy Good. Okay. Murphy Good Winery. You go to their front page, and they have something called the Dream Job. Okay. The okay. Wine Country Dream Job. Okay? okay. I like that. You click on it, and you're like, okay, this sounds interesting. How do I get this Dream Job, right? Or what are they talking what the about? What is the Dream Job? The Dream Job is essentially um, a job. What are the deal? The deal. Here we go. Overview. Here we what? go. Yeah. All right. We at Murphy Goody Winery <laughs> got to thinking about the new age of communications, nice. and we figured it was a pretty good thing. Yeah. So to get going, we're looking for someone, maybe you, who really knows how to use Web 2.0 and Facebook and blogs and social media and YouTube and all sorts of good stuff like that to tell the world about our wines and the place where we live, the Sonoma County Wine Country. In exchange, okay, all we right. will be offering you a really job. goody job. A six-month job paying $10,000 a month plus accommodations. We want to hire a That's social media whiz. 60 k for six months? That's not bad. Your title will be Murphy Goody Wine Country Lifestyle Correspondent, who will report on the cool lifestyle of Sonoma, Sonoma County Wine Country and, of course, Tell people what you're, what you're learning about winemaking. Did we mention the compensation was $10,000 per month plus accommodations in a beautiful home in picturesque Hillsburg, a popular vacation destination in our neck of the woods? No. Oh, wait, they did. Working hours <laughs> are flexible, and you will have to do is experience wine and good living and tell people about it. Cool. Do you play poker or liar's dice? Don't worry, we'll teach you. Okay. So. Oh, that makes sense. I was wondering about his video where he said liar's dice. I was like, what? Right. So what they did is they said, okay, create so they said, a video application. Do it. And how many people did they get? Uh, they got... Um, 850, see. right? 857? Yeah. They got something like that, right? And most of the videos, and we, we've done a lot of video stuff in our day. Uh, like we're doing right now. Right. Most of the videos are... With, with the hippie. So we have production value. Most of the videos are kind of crappy. Here was Martin's video. Let's take a look. Oh, I shot a lot. That's Wait. why the production oh, value is so high. I'm Martin Sargent. You know, over the years, I've done lots of neat stuff. I've hunted Bigfoot. I've studied the dark arts. Huh. I've been blessed by the coyote spirits. And I've even survived a few pretty bad accidents. But I have never worked at a vineyard, a which vineyard. is nuts because, boy, do I love wine. The thing is, I could kind of stand to learn a few things about its finer points. And that's what I'll do at Murphy Good. Bring my vast and adoring good. audience good. along He's with me as we all have fun learning about that's great wine and it. the good life in this splendid valley <laughs> through my blogs, tweets, podcasts, and videos. Oh, and uh, Liar's Dice? Well, that I do know something about. And you guys are doomed. I've got like 30, it's 36, is you do 30. All right, so. Cool. So he put in that job application. Right. Puts it but now in that's the, interesting. It said application to 1242. What do you mean 1242? That might have been the 1242nd. Uh, right. So, wow, so there's a lot of people. So a lot, right, of people, a lot of people, but they said basically the way that we're going to determine who these last 50 are, we want you to vote on them. So they created a voting mechanism. So there was actually a literal voting mechanism. Yes, a voting it wasn't mechanism. just a view thing? No, it wasn't a view thing. It was a okay. voting. He by far got the most views. He got 33,000 views because he knows social media. He went right. out there. Yeah. Everyone plugged it. He got it hyped up, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 33,000 views. Then <laughs> there's a voting system. So they Murphy Goody says, come here, vote for your favorite, uh, you know, whoever your favorite might be. Right. Martin won. He number one most voted, highly ranked freaking applicant out of all of their 1,200 applicants. Okay. Then Murphy Goody says, we're going to come out and announce our top 50 finalists. They okay. narrowed it down to 50. Yeah. Martin wasn't on the list. 
That sucks. Don't you find that a little bit weird? You're supposed to be embracing Web 2.0, embracing social yeah. media, embracing all these things, and the a launch of voting system. Yeah. Saying, who do you people, the masses, think should be our number one contestant? And he doesn't even make the list. Does yeah. that seem a little bit weird to well, you? Well, here's would, the thing. Why even have a voting system? Right. Well, here's the thing. And, and I think this is the conversation that I wish Murphy Good had had before they announced their 50. Mr. Turns off his cell phone. Thank you, Glenn, Glenn MC. Uh, is, okay. Your votes don't mean anything, basically. Well, no, no, no. Is, is Okay, so I'm assuming, well, first off, they obviously didn't like Martin as much as the other candidates, right? Right. So, so in the conversation when they go, okay, well, who should we pick as our 50? And they said, okay, well, we're not, we're not interested in, in Martin, right? What they should have then next step said is, okay, but let's think about this. He's the most voted guy. His video has the most views. Clearly, something is going on with this guy. Why don't we just move him into the 50? Right. Let's move him into the 50. We may not like him, and, and inevitably he may not get the job, but at the very least, move him into the 50. I don't even know what the 50 is. Maybe the 50 is come up and tour the winery or, or you know, make a, a secondary one with these requirements or whatever. It, you know what I mean? Like that's, what's, that's what boggles my mind. The fact that they maybe just didn't like what he did is that's just personal preference. I mean, I disagree with that, but if that's what they want to choose, that's fine. But right. what, the thing that I don't get is the understanding that the most popular guy in your competition well, doesn't move to the next 50? Like, that's what I don't get. Well, that, that's the whole thing, is they, they basically were saying... But they saying, thought that was a good idea. Well, you know what I mean? They, what, what they don't understand is they can't just create a website saying that you, the people, have control and help us choose and then throw out the number one, like, user-selected contestant. Who contested? did, like, the number two make it on the list? They had a response. Did the number three? No, I didn't see oh, the response. Oh, they actually did a response? Oh, yeah, it's on Facebook. What did they say? One of the things they said is that like seven, seven of the top ten yeah. were in, but the thing is the number one had like 500% more votes. Oh, so they thought... But no, I mean, I, it's okay if they like don't pick him in the end, but like what they, what they didn't do is like get the top vote getter by several hundred percent. It's stupid. Yeah, that, well, that's what I'm I saying. Is it, 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 every, every so what was their response? Um, let me find it for you and send it to you. Yeah. It's, it's kind of long-winded. They collected email addresses, too. Yeah, they collected email addresses. You need to confirm your vote. Yeah, so they, wow, they collected so all like these serious... email addresses. Yeah, again, I go back to, you know, the decision of whether they, you know, liked Martin or not is, is moot. It's not about that. It's right. not about the bad choice of, well, you should have liked Martin because he's perfect for this job. The, the real question is, he was far and beyond the public favorite. Why would you not at least let him go into the next round? Whether you take him or not doesn't matter. I mean, at the end of the day, it's up to you. But that's what I don't understand. Because the fact that, well, but then again, this is the whole point. The fact that they didn't understand that this shitstorm was coming is the whole reason why they're trying to hire somebody who would literally, the winner of this is the guy who's going to go, or girl who's going to walk in the room and go, you guys are going to stir up a fucking shitstorm on the internet. I hope you guys know that, right? Right. You know what I mean? Like... This just goes to prove that they actually really need somebody to do the best job ever because they have no idea. Yeah, the thing is, I was looking at some of the, the final 50, <laughs> and there was a couple of K ones in there, but dude, to be honest, like they don't want what they said they want. No, they, what they, they want is a person. They said, we want person. someone that's good with Facebook and that understands social media and that understands this whole Twitter thing. And understands, and in, in reality, the, the people that are the finalists are the ones that are like, I've been tasting wine since blah, 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 and probably know very little about this whole movement. And just yeah. and they were like, talked to their little cousin, like, can you get, help me get a video on YouTube? You know what I mean? <laughs> it wasn't, it, you weren't yeah. seeing those like tech savvy, Do I need a talk kind of social account? media people. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was, yeah. it was more just people that knew more about wine. Which is too bad, but anyway, uh, all I'm saying is it was a faux. It was a faux pas, up, big just time. Boycott them for life. That's but all, again, that's all I'm no, right? Again, it's a simple request. But again, I'm going to go to. Uh, it's actually funny. I think that this just proves how much they need the person that they're going to hire. Right. Because they and would. Because another. Because a company would go. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, so he was the most popular. Who cares? And the answer is, it matters a lot. It's you know, all about the power of the people when you want to try to do anything on the internet. You know what would be a freaking phenomenal thing? He should start his own winery. Yes. But aside from that... And call it Murphy there, Bad. There should be... There should an be, E at the end. There should be a, uh, a, com a, like a competitive winery that hires his ass to do this. And just blows yes. Murphy Goody out of the water. That's actually really smart. That's actually really smart. If you're, you know, whatever, winery, Coppola... 
All right, let's move on, shall we? Next story, Windows 7 pricing, good news, mostly. We finally received official word on Windows 7 pricing for the most part. People itching to upgrade immediately or buy a new Windows 7 machine are in luck. So here's the thing. Pricing for operating systems is always very interesting because what ends up happening is most of the time you don't incur the cost of a new operating system. Right? Because you get it with bundled with your machine. You get it bundled with your machine. Not so much in, nowadays, though. Well, I think nowadays we're in this, because well, it used we're in to this be. We're in world where you don't have to upgrade every six months. Well, and there's all these new operating systems coming out. You know what I mean? Like, you remember back in the day, it was like you would get your computer, you'd have it for five years, and then you'd have the operating system that came on it. Right. And then you would buy a new computer, and it would come with the newest operating right. system. And now there are people who will go out and get the new operating system. Like when Vista came out, people would buy the operating system and add it onto their XP machines. So, so now it's a little bit of a, a more interesting thing. There's a couple key points. First, first off, let's just get out of the way of the official no nothing. You want to go into a store. You don't, you don't have a version of Windows anyway, and you just want the new version, okay. which is always like buying a cell phone without getting coverage. That's the most expensive right. way you can do it. Absolutely. So for the full home, you get uh, $200 for home, $300 for professional, and $320 for ultimate. Which, by the way, does not sound that expensive to me. Sounds very expensive to me. As far as operating systems go, operating systems are expensive. Yeah, not really. Not, yeah, they are. No. Not bundled with a computer. Consider, well, here's... This is not OEM. This is like I walk into Fry's and I buy it and I don't Windows have another Windows is computer. the only expensive operating system, period. Well, how much? I remember upgrading my Mac and it cost me a couple hundred bucks. No, no, no. OS X, straight up. Straight up OS X. What does it cost? And while you're doing that, I'm going to continue this. Oh, yes. So for upgrading, you have Windows uh, Vista, either Home, Professional, or Ultimate. It's going to cost you $120 to upgrade at Home, $200 to upgrade to Professional, uh, $220 to upgrade to uh, Ultimate. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. If you have purchased a computer starting Friday, June 26th, you will get a free upgrade to Windows 7. Oh, that's, that's yeah. What? That's that that should that should be the way it is. Yes. Yeah, that it, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It is the way it is. Uh, which is a big deal because I just got a computer in the mail and it's I'm hoping that it's under this thing so I can just automatically get the thing. Um, <clears throat> okay, now here's the thing. So also if you pre-order, you'll get everything almost cut in half, if not more. So if you pre-order home premium Windows 7 right now, upgrade, which would cost you $120, it's now cost you $50. So you can upgrade right now Windows 7 Home That's for fifty dollars. Uh, professionally, professional the upgrade will cost will cost you a hundred dollars, and for ultimate it only it'll if you cost you. Once it comes out, you're screwed. Well, you're not screwed. There's, I mean, there's a thousand different ways to buy an operating system. What did it come out to you, by the way? Um, so to, to upgrade to the next version of OS 10. No, 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 straight up full price. One twenty nine. I have no box. One twenty nine. One twenty nine. So that's not. I mean, that it's not that much different. No, you're talking about upgrades. No, 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 no. I mean, 129 and 200 for this. 129 and 200 It's not that no, big a difference. No, that's for upgrade. No, full version of home, $200, 129 I'm just saying it's in the same sort of ballpark. Yeah, but this is professional, dude. This is, this is ultimate. This is everything the operating system has. So ultimate, it's, it's 320, 320 versus 129 Double the price. That's right. still not that big of a deal for me. Operating systems have always been very expensive. Well, here's so, I get, so but anyway... The hardware is cost the same amount of money. That's the that's the thing that gets me. You go buy a new computer, that, you buy one that, for four dollars. Well, first off, that can't be true because then where does the almost one hundred percent overprice of the Apple compared to a comparable PC come in then? Right, I get that. No, yes. I'm just saying if the hardware right. costs the same and the operating system's cheaper, why is it that it's no, double no, no, the no. price I, to get a I, Mac? I was just talking about PC side of the house. Oh yeah, I see what yeah. you're talking about. Well, that's why so either way, dude. Once I, you create the the code, you just push it. So either way, thank you for that very technical. I don't even know what you're talking down. about. So either way, the cheapest you will be able to get Windows Seven, all told, is fifty dollars. Right? That's the cheapest way you can get it, unless you buy a brand new computer now, or f but from Friday the twenty sixth up till when it's released, and you'll get it a free upgrade from Vista. Right. Which is a big to me. That's a big deal because if I buy a computer now, like I said, I just got a computer. It came with Windows uh, Vista Ultimate. Uh, I, I just installed the release candidate for Windows 7 because it is a far superior operating system, and I will say it is very, very slick. Um, and it's great to have my home computer. So, I mean, I think, you know, overall, this is, this is pretty good right. compared. You know so, what I mean? I still 
will go out on a limb and say I disagree with the fact that you even have a ultimate edition of Windows. Yeah, I agree. I, 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 I don't think it's necessary. I understand the home versus professional. I get that. You work in an office, there's some but shit think, that you need I that you don't need. I think professional and ultimate should kind of be the, the same, same price. Thing. That's exactly. Well, it should mean? be the same thing. It yeah. should be. I mean, there's there's not enough yeah, extra be, in ultimate right. to go be, from ultimate from home where you just need your home stuff, but you want the fancy ultimate stuff. It just doesn't seem like. And maybe I haven't looked up into what the difference is with Windows Seven Ultimate. I'm sort of basing this on what yeah, I remember not, Vista Ultimate. Why being. not just create one version of the operating system? I agree. And split the split down the middle. Come up with a price that's like two hundred bucks, and then that's what it is. Period. Dude, I agree. Anyway. I agree wholeheartedly. But that said. I'm very excited for Windows 7. Uh, I've been using it on my laptop, although I did just get the message uh, literally today that said, oh, it's going to expire in one day. So oh, I you just, just got to upgrade to the release I just got to upgrade to the release candidate because that'll give me an extra year. I, I like is, you know what? Here's the other thing I'm going to say. Windows, or Microsoft was really smart with releasing the beta to everybody, and releasing the release candidate to everybody, and giving them a full year before it expires. Yeah. It expires June 2010. Mm -hmm. So smart because yeah. that's that's when you know they're behind. They really think that what they're putting out is a good product. Yeah, I because really, they go download it and install it for free. Who cares? Enjoy it. At the end of the day, you're gonna want to keep it. You know what I mean? I, I think that uh, I've played a lot with Windows Seven on another machine that I have at the office. Yeah, and uh, without a doubt, it's by far their best operating system. Yeah. It blows Vista out of the out of the water. Yeah. And I don't know. It's just it's it's worth the upgrade. I'm gonna. Uh, my dad uses big Windows user. I'm gonna get him to convert. And upgrade. It's good. It, it's a big Makes deal. Sense. So anyway. All right. you. So, next story of the day, sex sells. Burger King's new 7-incher ad is embarrassing. 1,722 people like this story submitted by Weird Alf. What the heck is BK thinking? You mean Weird Ralph? Ralph. <laughs> what heterosexual male would even consider eating one of these after seeing this ad? And it's a bloody shame, really, because it looks like it's a pretty decent sandwich otherwise. <laughs> Here it is. One of the worst ads of all times. It will blow your mind away. Oh my God, BK's that's awesome. Super 7 incher. <clears throat> and it's basically got a girl opening her mouth about to take a large sandwich cock. Yep, that's exactly what the ad is. I don't know that, I, I agree with them kind of. Like you go, to, you go to Burger King, right? You're like, can I have the sandwich that makes and, it look like I'm eating a penis? Yeah, and you, <laughs> and you look on the wall and you're like, that girl's clearly taking that seven inch sandwich, right? I wonder Did if you, I could. I wonder, <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? It's a little, it's, I like where they're going with it. Look how much extra sense. mayonnaise they put on it. I mean, they're just really ah! dressed. Did you see the Look picture? at the mayonnaise. There There's is, a lot of mayonnaise. There is chowder That's coming it. out the side of that seven I think the incher. only thing that would be worse would be if there was a bite taken out and she had a little bit of like... On her chin know, Maybe some pearls on her chest. Some pearls. Some mayonnaise pearls on her chest. It's horrible. I, I agree, man. I'm not going to walk in. And the best oh part is... Oh my God. Did if you, you read the copy? In, no, what the copy say? Fill your desire for something long, juicy, and flame grilled with the new BK7... Uh, Incher, yearn for more after you taste the mind-blowing burger that comes with a single beef patty topped with all-American cheese, crispy onions, and extra sauce all over your face. Juicy and thick. Enjoy and take and eat this juicy steak for your mouth. Holy fuck, I made it the last sentence. It got a little weird but. towards the end, but I... <laughs> it got a little specific at the end there. This sandwich is like a giant penis in your face. Right. If you cannot take this, you definitely will not be able to eat a penis of the same size. <laughs> well, here's the thing: is like, wow, if, if, we went to, said that. if we went to Burger King and you ordered that, I'd be like, bro, look at that sign. Are you gonna really blow <laughs> yeah, your sandwich? Totally, totally. It wouldn't. It's not that. If you we're would, standing in line, I'd be like, and you order that, I'd be like, you'd be like, what? 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 I'd be like, dude, you're eating a dick, basically. Is what's going I'd be like, on? Like, what? I, I have a problem. <laughs> I'm trying to eat my sandwich. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's oh, horrible. God. Oh god, that's horrible. Uh, I don't ever want to see a sandwich uh, like that. Cock sandwiches are funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were they thinking? Uh, Unless they're trying to go for, you know, trying to get women to buy the sandwich. Well, you know what I would do? I would go into Burger King just to see the sign. Like if someone, like if we were driving down the street down, we saw Burger King, like, let's go check out that cock sandwich just to take some pictures with it. Yeah, yeah. Where you like put your face in the in position of the girl and <laughs> right, take a you're picture. Like, ah! Uh, anyway, we can't, we can't be the only one that does that, right? <laughs> other guys do that, right? Uh, we gotta search Flickr for that. Uh, like, come okay. on, please be two other guys. Please be two other guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's like, girl, 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 <laughs> fuck. Uh, All right, here we go. Pirate Bay's YouTube competitor is coming soon. Glenn. What? Keep going. Can you open, crack that window? It's hot as hell in here. 1,556 people dug the story submitted by Offon. Offon, to apply directly to the head. Offon, apply directly to the head. Offon, apply directly to the head. Does that shit, does that shit work? The pirate, head on, apply yeah. directly to the head. Head on, apply directly to the head. Yeah. Head on, apply directly to the head. That's a good end campaign. It's great, because I, I don't know what it does, but it oh, goes dude, directly to the head. Why have we not had this open the entire time? Oh my Feel god. The director wanted it closed. I did. I'm like, close that. I want him to sweat. <laughs> oh, you prager. If you open like another door, like a door or a window, you'll get that well, cross vent. I think we're getting the cross vent. Can yeah, you feel getting, that? Oh, I feel on my neck. <laughs> Let's say neck. Uh, the Pirate Bay team has continued developing its video streaming site, which will open to the public within five years. <laughs> okay, so they're shooting for quick. Uh, on the video bay, users can share video clips without having to worry about getting them taken offline due to copyright violations. True Pirate Bay style. Good. So they popped up, uh, and basically what happened was it popped up, the video bay popped up, and then went down. And now it's got this weird thing that says the site will be an experimental playground, and as such, subject to both live and drunken encoding. So please don't bug us too much if the site ain't working properly. I love the Pirate Bay guys. I know, I know. Well, didn't I? I saw an, a, a story that they went straight, like that they took off all their torrent feeds. Is that true? Did anybody read that? Is anybody here involved in the internet? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't hear that. Try, try, try something. It's video, video tag, tag demo. <clears throat> Dude, this is awesome. How are they paying for this? All their bags of fucking money that they're making. Of copyright infringement, right? Hmm. It looks decent. Looks pretty good, yeah. The real question is going to be, can they do uh, HD? Hmm. Anyway. Unauthorized user. Interesting. I wonder if you're going to have to get into... Like, if you're going to have to... I guess it's going to be open to the public because that's what they said, so... Anyway. Super cool Pirates Bay guys doing super cool things with Pirates Bay. Shall we go to the sponsors? Let's do it. PC Hookup. The best-selling author of Stuff White People Like, Christian Lander, has a new show airing Wednesday and Sundays at 9.30 p.m. Pacific, beginning July 15th through August 16th on Justin.tv. I will actually be the guest on the second episode going live July 19th. All devoted to gaming. The URL for the PC Hookup Live show is www.justintv.com slash PC Hookup Show. The show is live and interactive, and you can be on it as well. Share your dreams of digital domination with Christian and his guests, me, Ben Hugh, uh, and Felicia Day as well. Uh, you could win a PC, so go to justin.tv, find out how you can get on the show, and also stick around and check out... Uh, the video of the PC hookup with Christian Lander at the end of this here show. All right. Next sponsor of the day, Ooh, Klondike. Props. Our props, loyal props. viewers who have been asking and demonstrating what would you do for Klondike Bar. The six Klondike varieties have a thicker, more chocolatey shell as part of our summer macro micro bite campaign. Klondike has taken that question oh, to the streets yeah, and crunch. the results are hilarious vignettes hosted by some of our favorite comedians uh michael ian black started oh. the new comedy central show michael and michael yeah. have issues from the state um yeah from the state hit new york city recently to gouge the extreme klondike bar fanatics oh. um would be willing to reach oh my god i'm smelling chocolate already mm. um mm. which one is this, this is the heat bar right yeah what Quite. Crunch. Oh, mm. I don't have the crunch yet. Um, God, good. People yep. taken to a whole nother level. Klondike and Michael are releasing a number of unique videos throughout July. We've been giving an exclusive preview cut of one of Michael... <laughs> what did I say? Exclusive. Uh, Michael Ian Black's vignettes. You can download them at klondikemancave.com for the rest of the video um, to watch... Why am I having to tell the rest of the videos to watch common sense go out the window and hilarity ensue? Keep eating. Also, the Klondike Roast a Friend Facebook application has launched, and the much anticipated roast of our buddy Prager took place earlier this month. Yeah, if you Prager. haven't already, befriend Pragerpedia on Facebook to check out what went down, then go roast your friends. Love it. 
Thank you, Klondike. Mmm. Man, these are good, right? They got thick shells. Before, I was like, you know, Klondike, the shells are too thin. And now I'm like, wow, they're so thick, I can't even handle it. Yeah, it's almost like a Burger King thing. <laughs> Get reliable, so secure web hosting. Without the long-term contract, GoDaddy.com's hosting plans are bigger and better than ever. With 99% uptime, free 24-7 support, no annual commitment. Plus, enter the code DIG3 when you check out and get uh, register your domain names for seven forty nine. dollars Summer Secret Supply City sites for details. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. Also, be sure to check out revision3.com slash GoDaddy for all the Dig Nation, GoDaddy deals and codes. Also, a little uh, plug for Scam School. Yeah. Definitely want to check out this other Revision 3 show. Learn how to get free drinks by watching Scam School, hosted by magician extraordinaire Brian Brushwood. Why does it say Brushwoo? Did he change his name? No, uh, his Twitter account's Shwood. No, Shwood? It's, it's Brushwood. 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 This week, is he'll show else. you... Uh, Pace and Mr. D. It'll show you multiple, well, the weird thing is you got the period after it. <laughs> so it was like wash, woo, period. That's the um, Eileen's fault there. This week we'll show you multiple methods on how to break open combination locks and padlocks. Oh. This is show is like turning into broken. <laughs> yeah, like right? He's basically yeah. social hacks and shit and, and lock hacks now. Um, seriously, how sweet would it be to walk down the high school hall and knowing that you can get to any locker you wanted? Dude, this is some shit I would have loved to watch in high school. Bro, I'll blosh it right now. I'll go in the locker room and steal people's shit at the right freaking gym. Dude, blosh it right now. <laughs> check, out this episode of, check out this episode of Scam School every Thursday. Um, we have some good shows on Revision 3. There's That's some good. really good... Scam School is amazing. Honestly, my top three, aside from Dignation. No. And aside from Totally Rad Show. Okay. Because we both participate in those. Well. Do you participate in Totally Rad Show? No, we both participate oh, in like being one of, one of us. Um, I would have to say Film Riot and Co-op are kind of tight. Well, see, Scam School's good, too. Those three shows, if you haven't seen them, go watch them, because they're all damn good shows. Yeah. Veronica Belmont's damn Oh, fuck, Texilla. She's damn upset. I do love me a little Veronica Belmont. So, <laughs> tech, in, a, in a friendship kind of way, and I respect her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but she's definitely one of the cute... Uh, geek girls out there on the internet. So, Texel and Patrick Norton is awesome. He's like a big teddy bear. Um, <laughs> just kidding, Pat. Don't kill me. Uh, <laughs> he is much larger than I am. So, yeah, good shows. Go check all those out. At back. Last story of the day. Take your time. Last story of the day. 2,350. Did you eat that whole fucking thing? You just pounded it. No, I didn't. 2,315 people uh, submitted this story and also <laughs> done. <laughs> Uh, the number one most admitted story. <laughs> Local physician HIV AIDS cure getting little publicity. One 2,315 people submitted <coughs> by Wajapi. <laughs> this is a crazy story because sometimes you hear about these like AIDS uh, AIDS cures. Yeah, where it's and like, like lemonade and, like, and yeah, Tootsie they're Pops. Like, they're like, and you're like, really? It was that? <laughs> it was lemonade and Tootsie Pops. Right. You hear about some of this stuff and you're like, clearly this guy's just trying to like yeah. sell books or whatever. I put right? frogs on my genitals. What? This is really interesting. This is quite fascinating, actually. I read this. I actually read about this when it first came out. It was on Dig, and now uh, finally. So, are you familiar with um, a HIV? The yes. New England Journal of Medicine. I am familiar with them. Okay. I actually do some uh, correspondence for them. For those of you that don't know no. this journal, uh, it it's, is one of the most prestigious medical, journal. yeah. medical journals in the world. I'm just gonna go ahead. And so th my this is this is like a legit, legit like. If it's published here, it's, it's, it's for reals. Yeah. Uh, February 12, 2009, they published the article uh, about this cure. It's getting very little publicity because it's really hard to pull off. Here's what, what happened. <laughs> no, but it actually did work. And the one, they, they've done it one case. So here's, here's basically what happened. No, well, hold on. When you, when you hear it, you'll understand what, what I'm, why it's so weird. Okay, so basically there was this 40-year-old uh, American... Uh, working in Berlin that had been HIV positive for 10 years. Okay. 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 The, patient, the patient's HIV infection had been under control for four years, which what what they call the heart treatment regimen, which okay. is A highly active cocktail. antiviral right. therapy. It's like sounds for this, right? Right. So the, patients then de the patient then developed leukemia, okay, and needed a bone marrow transplant of stem cells. 
Okay. Uh, it's like a standard thing you do when you get mm -hmm, leukemia, mm -hmm, right? Um, and then required radiation therapy and chemo, uh, uh, chemotherapy <clears throat> okay. uh, prior to the treatment. Now, okay. remember, this is, this is a quote from, from the, uh, the doctor that actually, that actually figured this out. Mm -hmm. He said, remember, once you stop HIV drugs, the HIV viral count ra raises very rapidly, with right. the, usually within a few days to a week. Right. Okay? So this is what they had to do. They had to stop the drugs in order to do this bone marrow transplant. Right. They did the transplant, but rather than just a normal bone marrow transplant, the doctor thought, hmm, I'm going to try something a little bit different. Why well, not? Why not change up a fucking bone marrow why not transplant? Change it up. Why not just go, I'm going to do a bone minnow transplant? They did not do that. I'm going to put minnows in your bones. What they did do, though, is they chose stem cells that they were going to inject in the patient mm -hmm. from a, uh, a person that had a oh, that's gene good. <laughs> from a person that had a gene mutation known as CCR5 Delta 32. So, ah, the infamous CCR Delta 32. Here's what it is. Um, there has been research done here in San Francisco uh, in 1996 was when they first did it. They, 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 ba they basically discovered this gene called That's CCR5 Delta 32 that men that have it, uh, like gay men in San Francisco that have it, for some reason or another, don't get full-blown AIDS. They, they just never develop it if they have this gene in them, right? This okay. is kind of a known thing. In okay. fact, when I did my 23andMe uh, gene um, it actually shows test, you if you have it. It says, do you have this? It tells you, like, it's yeah. a kind of a known thing. I don't have it. I'm not resistant. So what it, what it says is basically, he was like, okay, I'm, this guy's resistant to this. I'm going to try and get this, take these stem cells and inject these stem cells with this mutation in there and see what happens. Yeah, because he's got to get a new bone marrow anyway. Right, exactly. So they injected this person, this guy, this patient, right. with, did the transplant, everything went to plan. Uh, went okay. to plan. This is, the patient has now been off all HIV drugs okay. for two years. Okay. And he continues to show no detectable signs of HIV in all known places that HIV is detected. No signs in the blood, no signs in the bone marrow, no signs in the lymph nodes, no signs in the intestines, and no signs in the brains. Also, the patient's T cell count remains normal. Why do they say this is so hard to replicate? It's not that it's hard to replicate, it's just that nobody's trying it because you don't normally think of AIDS treatments as a uh, bone marrow as being a bone marrow transplant as a way to treat it. Wow, that's intense. So basically, it's up to people like us. But isn't like a bone us, marrow to choose to have a bone no, marrow transplant? No, to get the word out there and encourage yeah. people to try this, right? Because that's a big deal. I mean, that's not like, that's like saying, well, I lopped off my arm and somehow cured right. cancer. And it's like, well, then everybody who has cancer should try lopping off their arm because maybe it'll work. It's a big deal to step up and say, yeah, irradiate all of my body so that I don't have any bone marrow and then shoot some guy's bone marrow in me that's got some sort of weird gene mutation. That's not like an overnight program. You know what I mean? Like, that's a big deal. Especially because they have to take you off the antiretrovirals Right. Well, here's the thing. Which is they're, scary because if it doesn't work, now you're just years off your life. They're saying you took, you know, your stuff went. Right? They're saying that this is truly the first case of confirmed uh, confirmed case of cure of HIV in the world, and ah. th this is what's even more interesting. The patient <clears throat> died of cancer. Oh. Because they didn't cure the cancer. The patient died of cancer a couple years later, but they did autopsy tests on eight organs mm -hmm. to get really in there and make yeah. sure that there was no HIV. No HIV. And so basically this person got so the, this done. The upside is he doesn't have HIV. The downside is he's also dead. Right. Well, that's, I mean, that's 50. <laughs> so no. this is what the doctor is currently saying. This is the last sentence of the article. The doctor says, I have no doubts that present-day high-tech stem cell transplantation from CCR5 Delta 32 donors can cure HIV. Wow. So here's, here's the other thing, though. This last little caveat. <laughs> The, the procedure to do this bone marrow transplant, because I guess you have to get in your spine? Can only happen in zero G. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> I guess the high mortality rate uh, is uh, that <clears throat> I guess they say a third or a little bit less of the patients that get this bone marrow transplant die of complications of the marrow transplant. So it's like a really risky thing to get this transplant in general. It's super expensive. So it's not like you're going to have someone sitting there with AIDS and saying like, oh shit, I, you know, unless they're like really on their deathbed and go and get something like this. I don't know. I'm just saying. I think well, we can should... it cure when HIV turns into AIDS? Can it cure? Yeah, AIDS? Th that's the whole thing. They're they're saying. Well, no. This is this isn't HIV, 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 HIV. But hold on, hold on, <clears throat> hold on. 
Well, well, either way, yeah, that's a big gonna deal. Yeah, it's going to do it, right? That's super cool. AIDS is just a, is an offset of, uh, it's, it's because you have HIV, right? If you cure HIV, AIDS goes away. Well, this is a great next step. To yeah. Like, to getting further along, making an easier cure. Yeah, true. Easier than jabbing someone in the spinal cord. I don't know. All I'm saying cord. is if, like, let's... It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. I, I just wish there would be more mainstream freaking press about it. Yeah. Well, you know. Well, it's on dig. Yep. So there you go. That's mainstream enough, right? All right, people. Well, that is it. Come sa, come see, come sa. Stick around and check out the video of the PC hookup with Christian Lander. All right, everybody. All right. Well, we will see you next week. Uh, cool. Enjoy your contacts. Like wizards? Me too. You've got to let people online know how you roll. So use our patented system for coming up with wizard names. No half orcs though, you guys are jerks. So what you do is you take a vowel, then you add Tor to the end of it. Ah Tor, E Tor, boom, wizard party. Let's have it, let's, let's do this, invite me. I've got my own staff, it's custom made. <laughs>